Alright, shalom brothers and sisters Most high bless you and your family Uh, so lucky about that This is part 2 I got cut off, the battery was low in the last video So we're gonna go right into it uh, I left off talking about um, Like I saw, basically the, the the reason why the most high had Required a, a sacrifice I'm sorry, a altar of um Sacrifice Inside the tent, you know what I'm saying A uh, incense altar, sorry Sorry, incense altar, that's what I meant and we're gonna basically prove what was the purpose of it. You know what I mean? Like I'm on, on the last part I brought out, trying to say that uh, the same way, like if you have friends and stuff, and you know what I mean, you will go inside the car and y'all will do like a hot box or whatever. You know what I mean? Put the windows up, close the doors, and y'all smoke and shit. You know, when we was younger, I did it when I was younger with my friends. You know what I'm saying? So I could kind of understand where you know what I mean. The tent comes into place where the smoke stays inside and it captures it so we're gonna read this and this is a uh, another article this is an article from cannabis culture i'm just gonna bring this out you want to read the full article you can go ahead so it says smoke in the tent it says lacking the invention of pipes okay so from jump it's telling you they didn't have pipes they didn't have roll-ups none of the stuff that you know what i mean you see now it says it was the practice of some ancient peoples to burn cannabis and other herbs in tents so that more smoke could be captured and inhaled okay that's what it says lacking the inventions of pipes it was the practice of some ancient peoples to burn cannabis and other herbs in tents so that more smoke could be captured and inhaled all right it says in the last installment of this column we discuss such a group the ancient Scythians a Scythians were a nomadic people who traveled and settled extensively throughout Europe, the Mediterra Mediterranean, Central Asia, and Russia. It says, they burned cannabis inside small tents and inhaled the fumes for ritualistic and recreational purposes. Moses and his priests burned incense and used the holy anointment in a portable tent of meaning, the famous tent of tabernacles. As ca cannabis is listed directly as an incense later in the Bible, it seems likely that Moses and the Levite priesthood would have burned cannabis flowers and pollen along with the ointment and incense which the Most High commanded them to make. All right, so right there tells you the purpose of why smoke was supposed to be inside the tent you understand what i'm saying so it can capture it more in other words you didn't need no roll up you understand what i'm saying the smoke was there you you go inside of it and you and you breathe it i mean why don't you go buy a friend you know you're gonna if you know a friend that smokes quanta bossum <laughs> cannabis marijuana trees buds you, you know if you know somebody that smokes herbs and you know what i mean go buy them go inside the room or wherever they smoking and you you're gonna see you're gonna get a whiff of it whether you're not smoking you're still gonna you're gonna whiff it. you know what i'm saying you're gonna get a whiff you might catch that second hand contact all right so let's read the scripture and aaron shall burn incense every morning when he dresses the lamps he shall burn incense upon it and when aaron lighteth the lamps at evening he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before Yahweh throughout your generations. Exodus chapter 30 verses 8 to 10. So this is basically telling you that Aaron was supposed to be burning incense inside the tents. Okay, in the morning and in the evening. What was those incense? Those incense were the Quanabashim. Okay, which is cannabis. You understand what I'm saying? Let's read this real quick. A reading of the Old Testament reveals that Yahweh came to Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And that this cloud came from smoke produced by the burning of incense. It says, as scholar Ralph Patia commented in his book, The Hebrew Goddess, whatever this shit is it says Yahweh merely put in temporary appearances in the tent of meeting he was a visiting deity who appearance in or departure from the tent was used for auricular purpose all right whatever the fuck they talking about let's just gonna we're getting the meat and we're going with it so it says 
One is reminded of the ancient Persian sage Zoroaster, another monotheist like Moses, who heard the voice of his power. Ahura Mazda, while in a state of shamanistic ecstasy produced by cannabis, the Greek oracle of Delphi also revealed her prophecy from behind a veil of intoxicating smoke. So they're basically telling you that other people, other religions had used the same method that they had got from Moses. You understand what I'm saying? Moses was ba Moses was the first one, you know what I'm saying, that, that even did this. You understand? That's the reason why the Most High gave him the instructions to build the temple. And what the Esau did, Esau took the knowledge and he flipped it around and made and perverted and he defiled it. Okay? That's why you have witchcraft now. And you can check out the Spanish people, they do the brujeria and all that shit, Santa Maria shit. Okay? I mean, Santeria shit. And what they do, do you always see them little Spanish people smoking, a little big cigar, talking that, you know what I'm saying, mira mira shit. Okay? Why? Because they all got it from the way that the Most High instructed us to do it. But in righteousness, they using it in wickedness. You understand? Why do you think the Most High said that he's going to kill some of our peoples? All right. So let's bring this out right here. Probably close up on this. It says, come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come with me from Lebanon. Descend from the crest of Amana. Matter of fact, let me just read this from up top. That says, the second appearance of cannabis. The next biblical account of cannabis comes under the name Kana and appears in relation to King Solomon. In Solomon's Songs of Songs, one of the most beautiful written pieces in the Old Testament, Solomon mentions Kana in describing his bride. It says, come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come with me from Le Lebanon. Descend from the crest of Amana, from the top of Sen Senor, the summit of Hermon. I mean, the summit of Hermon. It says, How delightful is your love, my sister, my bride? How much more pleasing is your love than wine? And the fragrance of your ointment than any spice. The fragrance of your garment is like that of Lebanon. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates with choice fruits, with henna and nard, nard and saffron. Kana and cinnamon with every kind of incense tree. All right, so telling you, proving that Kana, Kana Basham was an incense, proving that Moses and the Levites were burning this Kana Basham as an incense that the Most High required. As I said, and Aaron shall burn incense every morning when he dresses the lamps. He shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighted the lamps at evening, he shall burn incense upon it. A perpetual. Read this word and understand perpetual. Incense before Yahweh throughout your generations. You understand what I'm saying? We don't have an established Levite priest that is doing this right now. You understand what I'm saying? This is why it was taken away from us. This is why the Most High... It's letting us, he's, de he's dealing with us himself. You understand what I'm saying? The Most High is dealing with him, dealing with each and every one of us himself. You understand? Just because you can't understand this and you don't want to go into the Hebrew, it does not mean that the next man is going off. Do you see what I'm saying? You First of all, if we're going to get this right, you need to go into the Hebrew. If you don't want to know it 100%, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to know it 100%. But you know what? Do your homework. You know what I'm saying? It, it told you that this word, where you see in the in the, in the in the Bible, where it says incense or herbs, or it says uh, calamus, they're telling you that that was put in there from the Hebrew to the Greek. So you mean you're gonna believe the Greek mistranslations over the Hebrew original words that was there? Because that's obviously what you dudes are saying. So furthermore, you're saying that you're gonna believe the white man, your enemy, the oppressor over what the Most High has showed us. You know these devils were given the power to change the laws and the times and everything. They told you over and over. Why the hell do you think King James had so much Bible scholars and he had all these people, you know what I'm saying? 
trying to decode and, and, and I mean and translate the Bible all right because they mistranslate a lot of things you need to go into the Hebrew that's why we Hebrew Israelites so with that most high bless you and your family